Hi Taurus, thank you for being here with me. Let's see, I'm just going to shuffle the cards three times and then we'll get right into the reading. Okay, one more time Taurus. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Okay, Taurus, let's find out what's, what's coming out for you. What does Taurus need to know? I feel like somebody's watching you. I have the Page of Swords here. This is a younger energy. This could be someone younger than you or just someone who's young at heart. But there's, this is the spy card. Someone is watching you somehow on social media or um, asking around about you. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles here. So I'm seeing a messenger show up. There, You will be getting a message from someone. Sorry about this setup, Taurus. I'm still getting things moved around. I haven't got everything put together yet. Okay. What's happening with Taurus? Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles showing up. You could be working on something with uh, with other people, I'm seeing, with the Three of Pentacles, but we'll go back and clarify. And then I'm seeing the star show up, which is wish fulfillment. This is Aquarius energy. This is healing. What's happening with Taurus? The Two of Cups right in the center of the reading. This is a connection with someone. There's something new starting up here is what I'm feeling like, but we'll find out after we clarify the cards. What's happening with Taurus? Okay. So... There's some type of burden here with the Ten of Wands. This is a heavy burden, but I'm seeing you releasing it because the Fool is here. This is this Ten of Wands becomes a zero. It's a brand new beginning, throwing your hands up in the air, excited, starting a new journey. What's happening with Three of Cups, a great celebration with the Three of Cups. And then I have the Six of Cups. This is soulmate energy, or this could be someone from your past. What's happening with Taurus spirits? And the Four of Pentacles. This is someone holding on and not wanting to let go. Or this can be holding back. So we'll find out what's going on with that energy. But we're going to start back up here at the top of the reading. Because this is someone watching you or trying to gather information. Why is the Page of Swords here, Spirits? Yeah, the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, the Page of Wands. And the Fool again. 
whoever this person is that I'm seeing here watching you, I'm seeing them just taking a leap of faith. This is someone who has a lot of love for you, but they're trying to gather information. This is someone that you have a lot of love for too, Taurus. I feel like you gave a lot to this person. And I definitely see a younger energy here. With the Page of Wands. This is someone who um, someone who's very attracted to you. I'm trying to find the right words to use here, but not just attracted to you. This is someone who does have a lot of love for you, and this is a messenger showing up. I'm seeing them. It's like they're going from watching you to taking a leap of faith and coming with a message. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here, Spirits? This is, I'm feeling like this is an apology. This is a, this is a, some type of gift. This is someone who is trying to manifest you. I have the Magician here, but I also have the Four of Cups. So they feel like they missed an opportunity with you. I have the Magician. This is a manifestation. This person literally sees you as a wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups and the Magician. They are coming in with a sincere offer. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? This could be someone that you're working with. It doesn't have to be. This could be someone that you were married to or living with. But definitely someone with a lot of passion for you. I have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy again with the moon. This is something that you're not seeing. This is hid hidden from you. I'm seeing this person come in. This is this Knight of Wands. This is text messages. Some type of internet messages coming in. Someone with a lot of passion for you. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is a very stable, loving, giving, kind energy. It's a motherly energy. Why is the star here? Yeah, this is someone. I have the Page of Swords again. So this is someone wanting to heal a connection with you. I'm seeing a wish fulfillment, Taurus. I'm not sure what that means to you, so put that where it belongs, since this is a general reading. Yeah, they're feeling... They're wanting to work on this connection with you. Um, but I, I'm seeing this person feeling very defensive and guarded. You can see hands on the ends of all of these wands. This is someone very guarded up and defensive. Why is the Two of Cups here? And then we have the Two of Cups in the center of the reading. Yeah, the Two of Cups, this connection right here that is the main focus of the reading, right in the center, center of your reading, this is someone...
who's feeling a lot of sadness, a lot of regret, a lot of sorrow. They're only focused on the past and the loss. But as you can see, they're, they're like really focused on these three cups that are spilled over and unable to see the two cups sitting straight up behind them, male or female, and the two of cups, it's right here. So I'm seeing this person is manifesting this connection with you because they are feeling a lot of sadness, a lot of regret. I'm seeing them show up with an apology and I'm not sure what this person did yet. I see there could be possibly secrets here. And this is someone who has a lot of passion for you. I have the Page of Cups. So this is a new beginning in love. And then we have the Ace of Wands. This is, an ex this is exciting news, Taurus, exciting news coming in with the Ace of Wands. I feel like you're going to take a leap of faith with this person. I have the Fool here. There's some type of burden that's going to be dropped because... Um... It's like there's, with the Ten of Wands, it only goes up to a Ten, and then it is dropped and released, which is why we have the Fool here. But there could be new love showing up for some of you. But I do see someone here who's feeling a lot of sadness, a lot of regret. It's like they're, they're too focused on the past. What's happening with Taurus? I kind of feel like you felt like this person was going to return again with the Three of Wands. Because this was a happy home, a happy family, a lot of love in this connection. Maybe there was some type of information found out here. But see, healing with the Four of Swords. This is someone who wants a reconciliation with you. It's very similar to the Pisces reading. They want a reconciliation with you. They're hanging their swords up on the wall. This person doesn't want to fight anymore. And I see the sun coming in, which is Leo energy. The sun is the happiest card in the tarot deck. And this is someone who's made a plan. This is someone who's very slow, but they've made a plan and they know what they're doing. This is not someone who's going to rush in and out of your life. This is someone from the past showing up, Taurus. It's an, this is an ex coming with an apology. And I'm not sure what that apology is for. This person can't let go, though. Why is the Six of Cups here? I have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is someone that could be at a distance from you. Someone who doesn't like to take no for an answer. They jump. This person jumps through hurdles to get what they want. And this is the hurdle right here. There's gossiping people here. There's people in in their business. This could have been the cause of this 
split up that I'm seeing here because I see people that's the only sign I'm seeing so far as I see these people and some type of information being found out and this person feels like they really feel like they've missed an opportunity with you nine of wands this is the wounded warrior this is someone who doesn't give up like knight of like this king of wands energy this is someone who's all bruised and battled up they have their head wrapped up they're exhausted but they're not backing down they're not giving up on this yet they're holding on to this connection with you, with the Four of Pentacles. They're not wanting to let go. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? I have Leo energy here again. I have the strength. See, and I have people again. There's something about people in this reading. But they're trying to get up the courage, and I'm seeing this person holding back. Because they're kind of, it's kind of someone who is in their ego. And then we have the star card again, Aquarius energy, healing. What does Taurus need to know, spirits? What is the star card? Okay, here we go. This is someone who could have been lying, cheating, or stealing. someone who was in their ego they could have been manipulative now i'm starting to see some signs from this person what's what's happening here but i'm seeing this cycle ending and a brand new chapter beginning for you taurus there's an ending and a brand new chapter beginning you're walking into a whole new world here why is the world here You're going from blocked communication with this person, with the Five of Pentacles, to the Two of Cups. So, I'm seeing the two of you coming together in this reading, Taurus, whoever this is for. This is a committed relationship. Where there was a tower moment, it's like everything fell apart here. Yeah, I'm seeing a reconciliation, but I'm seeing it's like you're holding up your sword. So this person needs to come to you with truth because if they don't, I see you using this sword, cutting this person off. But it's a committed relationship here with the Hierophant and the Three of Cups. A great celebration, a reconciliation. There's a huge change taking place. It's like I have the tower here, the wheel of fortune and the 10 of wands. I feel like this connection right here, there's a lot of love. It's like happy home, happy family, everything's perfect. But this person made some type of a mistake and caused their own tower moment a lot of pain and they've been carrying around a heavy burden but i'm seeing this connection coming back together again taurus okay so let's get um a couple of moonology cards for you what does taurus need to know spirits Okay, just two more shuffles. Okay. 
What does Taurus need to know? Prosperity lies ahead. I'm seeing great happiness coming in for you, Taurus. It's like there's a lot of significant changes that are going to bring in some type of wish fulfillment for you. Some I'm seeing you learning some, some type of information here. Something new that you're starting. And then I have Surrender to the Divine. And let's get one more. A fiery climax approaches, which is what I'm seeing right here with this Ace of Wands. This is exciting news. This is something that's going to make you very happy. This connection right here, it's going from some type of loss and sadness, sorrow, regret from someone and this could be any sign I'm just telling you the significant signs that are standing out to me while I'm doing this reading but I get very strong water energy in this reading I have Aries Leo Sagittarius pretty strong too and your Taurus energy is here but these are the messages spirits have for you, Taurus. I hope they help and bring you clarification. Thank you so much for being here with me. And um, I'm sorry I missed so many readings for you guys. It's just been a really tough move because I've gone from Calif Northern California to Texas. So it was a 24-hour drive. <clears throat> But I'm starting to get everything put back together again here. And so we can get back on track with your daily readings. And I send you lots of love and light, Taurus. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.